So the probability of this baby having a birthday is one or 365 over 365. Then we multiply that by baby number two's probability of not sharing that birthday, 364 over 365. We multiply that result by baby number three's probability of not sharing a birthday with either baby number one or baby number two which is 363 over 365. And we keep doing this for as many babies as we want to calculate the odds for. At baby 23, we're multiplying by 343 over 365. To simplify this calculation, we can write it as 364 factorial. We'll start with 364 because 365 over 365 is just one, over 342 factorial because 365 minus our 23 babies gives us 342 times 365 days out of the year raised to the 22nd power, which is our 23 babies minus baby one again okay and the result of the whole equation gives us 0. 0.492703 or about 49.3 percent again that's the probability we don't have a birthday match with 23 babies so we subtract this from one to find the chance that we do which is 0. 0.507297 which is about 50.7 percent the trick here is that every baby is being evaluated against each other it actually broke my pen trying to make all these evaluation lines. It's, it's not whether babies 2 through 23 share a birthday with just baby 1. To have a 50% chance of a match with a single predefined birthday, like, like a 50% chance of finding a match with baby number 5's specific birthday, we need a pool of 253 babies, which sounds about right and isn't particularly surprising. This is whether any two babies share any birthday with one another. The high probability 50% with a low baby count, 23, is surprising, but the math works. And if we keep extending the series, the results show that with 100 babies, fewer than a third of the possible birthdays in a given year, the chances of a match